I used another blank paper from the Bible and another blank paper. Then I'm like, dang, I come to realize I every time I just didn't have something, I used the Bible and that was fucked up. This video is for educational purposes only. I do not encourage or promote anything shown in this video. Please do not try at home. She said she love me, she don't love me, that's a damn lie I play for kids, fuck a loss in a damn time By my side I had to sacrifice She said she love me, she don't love me, that's a damn lie Gucci gang, what's Gucci squad? It's your boy on mic, back at the another five video Guys, oh shit, y'all always just How many times I gotta tell y'all, calm down, calm down, calm down Sorry y'all calm, alright bet I don't know why I did this, bro. I don't, I mean, I do know why, you know. I had to improvise, you know what I'm saying? But uh, these are a couple things that I did that I think I'm gonna go to hell for. So I just pray every day, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, let me get into this story time. Make sure y'all do not try anything shown in this video. This is for educational purposes. And thank y'all for 500k, man. We about to hit a 500k special, man, coming soon. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Um, and hit the sub bell. I mean the sub bell. The notification. I used to play games, right? And, you know, as a kid, you don't really believe in, like, you believe in stuff, but you don't really, you're not really woke, you know? And I'm playing games. Oh, let me just explain to y'all how this all started. So, one day, these church people come up to our house. I think I was like six years old, you know. Actually, I was younger. I was like five years old, bro, because we lived in the Brady Courts when I was, you know, three to like six. So, and the Brady Courts, they came to the door. I remember I was five years old. And I went to this church, man, they were saying, we have fun games and this and that and y'all need to come out and I remember asking my mom this is when my mom I was actually living with her you know I was only five and uh, she she said she didn't want us to go but I was like come on mom so then me and my brothers we went and we had a blast it was fun and that's what I thought church was about see like sometimes they gave us the wrong perception so I started going to church just to go eat snacks and have fun instead of going to worship Jesus. Every time they were worship, I was like running off in the back of the church and just like playing hide and seek with the homies or just doing stuff we're not supposed to do. Even getting kicked out like of the, the church, like it, we were really doing bad stuff and that's how it all started, okay? Let's go a little bit into the future now. So now I'm about I say 11 years old. I'm 11 years old and I'm playing this game. It was PS2. Uh, I hate to say it, but this is the same PS2 that I stole from somebody <laughs> from the crib. And if y'all want to hear that story time, I need 5,000 likes, bro. I'll remember. I'll come back to this video and I'll be like, okay, 5,000 likes? They want to hear this one. I, I stole a PS2 from someone's crib. So that's how it happened. I'm playing this stolen PS2, bro. I'm just chilling, right? And it's one of those hard races. I was playing that Need for Speed bullshit. And as I'm playing this, I'm getting mad because I can't even uh, win. And I'm mad as shit, bro. I, I, I'm, I'm like, come on, like, let me win. So boom, I turn that shit off, I'm getting mad. I put in more to combat. So. Mortal Kombat, it's like even worse, man. You getting aggressive and you getting mad. You just want to punch the screen. And I couldn't beat, like, I think it was like getting towards the last ones. It was that girl, Shel Shelda or some shit. What's her name? Sheila. The big forearm girl. That girl right there, man. Um, She was hard to beat, bro. She just grabbed his zoom, be smacking. So I'm getting mad as fuck. I'm like, what the f So. Long story short, I pray to God. I'm like, please, Lord, please, Lord, um, help me win this last round. I don't know what I was thinking, guys. You don't ever try that at home. Don't ever pray to God for to win a game like that. Like maybe a soccer game that you know you've been training weeks for, but not that stupid ass game, bro. 
I lose to, and I swear, I, it's not even funny. I ain't gonna lie. But I said, I hate you, God. And I was tripping and I felt, and I said, I was like saying that I love the devil and stuff. All at a young age just because of a game, bro. Because I couldn't beat it. And that was one of the things that I think I need to, I always pray every day. I don't ever do that no more, but that's a thing that you could go to hell for, I think, if you say F God and say you love the devil. That was bad. And I was only like 11 years old. So let's go a little bit to the future now. I'm now about, I ain't gonna say too much, but I'm a one and a three, you know? So as I'm a one and a three, I'm chilling. And you know, when you're that young, you can't just go to the store and get papers, blunts. You can't just go out and get stuff you want because you're a kid. No one's gonna, you're not gonna get done right. You know what I'm saying? That's basically how I'm gonna put this. So I ended up improvising. And if y'all don't know what improvising means, it just means you had to do what you had to do. You know what I'm saying? So one day, I'm chilling and I have like this little sack of Reggie left. I had no wraps. I, I, I would smoke out of a foil pipe. If y'all want to hear all these story times, bro, these are funny story times. The foil pipe story times, bro, that's funny, man. I, would, I was going through it, bro, no cap. So I would have these foil pipes all around the house, but like hidden and they're all whack, bro. I'm over here messing up my lungs. It tastes nasty. I didn't like it personally, so. I figured like what's around the house I could use to you know what I'm saying like improvise I ended up seeing something crazy I ended up seeing my grandma's Bible fully blessed highlights Bible cards in there like I don't know what I was thinking like Lord forgive me for real for real but uh, this is one of the things I'm going to hell for I think it, 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 I hope so. I, I don't hope so, but you know what I'm saying, guys. Look, listen. I got her Bible, and of course I didn't use the scriptures, man. I didn't. But for some reason, I went to the back of the Bible and I saw the last pages, and they were blank pages. So I'm like, damn. I don't know. I grabbed the Bible piece of the Bible and I grabbed the sheet and I just ripped that hole. Oh, bad, bro. I ripped the blank piece off the Bible and I made like four papers out of that. Now, as I'm rolling this, I'm thinking in my head like, this is bad. I don't know if I should have did this. Like, But then the other side of me is like, bro, it's just a blank paper. It's not like it's a scripture. You know what I'm saying? But wait, guys, it gets worse. So... I smoke all those four joints. And let me tell you, it was disgusting. They didn't stick, obviously. What I did to stick them was um, I put honey on them or syrup. I think I did put syrup. It was disgusting. It didn't even burn right. So I put syrup on them and they would like burn so fast and it was the worst throat feeling. I used another blank paper from the Bible and another blank paper. Then I'm like, dang. I come to realize, I every time I just didn't have something, I used the Bible, and that was fucked up. So, long story short, I ran out of papers, blank papers on the Bible, and then I was like, ah, well, there's some blank spaces between these Bible verses, and I did it. I tore between the Bible verses, and I made a joint out of those things, bro. Lord forgive me, man, but oh, I smoked those things. And now this Bible, my grandma's Bible, is ripped up bits and pieces all oh, bad, bro. Like, I don't encourage anybody to do this, man. I'm telling you, this is not it. Don't ever do that, bro. Like, I'd rather smoke out of a foil pipe, man, than to do that. And let me tell you, I think maybe that's why I got cursed as a kid. Maybe that's why I got locked up so many times and so many bad things happened because I just never thought of the consequences of things. You know what I'm saying? Like I never took a second look at what I was doing when I was younger. So 
Yeah, that's the time I smoked Bible paper, y'all. And that's those are the times within those periods of times that I think that I'm gonna go to hell for. And uh, yeah, don't do that at home, guys. Alright y'all, so basically before I end this video I just wanna say that uh good things happen uh before I end this video I just wanna say I think that you before I end this video I just wanna say I hope that people before I end this video I just wanna say I hope that y'all can learn Damn, before I end this video, y'all, I just want to say that I hope that everybody puts out good energy in the world, you know? I think about it a lot, like, you know, like I did bad things back then, you know, like as far as with God. So if you're going to do good things, make sure it's with God because I don't know, but for some reason, well, I do know, but f like... God will help you, man. If you put your all with God, he will bless you, you know, in other words. So take that to consideration. Like if you're going to do good things in the world, do it for God. You know, if that's it, it's going to be one of the things, do it for God. Let me tell you all why. Because I've gave my life to God and I didn't really know God at those times where I did those things. Now that I know God and I met him and I actually had a bond with him, like a real bond. When I was locked up, I prayed for days like this. And no one understands, only me and God. And every day and every night, I'll read the Bible for like seven months straight, man. I'm telling you, I read the whole New Testament. And... Reading that and having that bond with God, he never let me down. I had a girl that I was waiting on. She was doing me wrong while I was in there. And she let me down. Family let me down. Friends let me down. But you know who didn't let me down? God, Jesus. Never let me down once. Always stuck by my side. Always, you know... He knows, man, and, and life happens for a reason, and everything happens for a reason, so me thinking my life is over, it just got started, and same for everybody, man, same for everybody who's watching this video, if y'all are going through it, and y'all just need some guidance, man, just keep it up, because if you just keep it up for the Lord, for God, He's gonna bless you. It might seem like it's the end, man. I'm telling you. When I was locked up, it seemed like there was no hope. But I just started getting blessed. And thank God, man. Real talk. I made something of myself. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody for 500K. We hit 500K. And uh, y'all just stay blessed, man. Remember, put good energy out there to receive good energy. Even if you don't receive good energy, you don't want to be the person. You don't want to let this world change you, in other words. Don't let this world change you. Just because someone's having a bad day, don't let that energy affect you and have let your good day start to be bad because of that person's actions. No. Keep your good energy, man. Store it. You know, like, energy is real, man. New channel coming soon, Spiritual Mike. I'll see y'all later. On okay. game. Do this for my mama, I ain't had no pops I was a kid, used to ride with a Glock Sending them shots to the motherfucking ops We ain't talking, we don't talk to the cops Grew up with roaches and rats in the kitchen Fighting with mama, she always be bitching Fuck all the drama, I go get the digits Pull out that llama, I give them the business Shoot up the scene, I ain't leaving no witness Gotta get green like it be my religion Post on the blocks, ain't block, I was spinning Really slang Glocks, this ain't no pretend